So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the devil. Let's look at the messages from the heart cards. We have player. Let's look at the infinite love oracle cards. Ego death. Let's look at a message card as well. We're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. I see everything so clearly now. The High Priestess. Wow. So this person, they have been quite toxic towards you is what I'm really feeling with this. The devil and the player energy. It says cheating, manipulation, deceit, lies, third party, non-committal, fear of intimacy, backstabbing. This person could be a charmer. They were disrespectful. But this is like really telling me that karma has really struck this person like a bolt of lightning. Some, it just said 111 as I said that as well. Something has happened here to crumble this person's old perception whatever this karma is is terrifying it's created chaos it's been mind-blowing your person's felt disoriented they've been having tower moments i feel they want to hold on to you now um whatever's happened here this tower moment it is making them surrender some sort of falseness I feel like it was some sort of arrogance. They've been put in their place by the universe, maybe even by you. It says awakening, eye opening, okay? Your person was oblivious. I feel like they were taking you for granted. They may have been cheating on you, disrespecting you, maybe even being abusive. But the universe has stepped in. They see everything clearly now. I feel like whatever they dished out to you someone did it to them or there was some sort of karma here and it's humbled this person and now they they understand how it feels what they did to you so how are they feeling about you right now look six of wands and i noticed this was at the bottom of this deck Six of Wands, let me be your hero. This person wants to race back into your life and save the day. They want to make amends after some sort of conflict here or some sort of power struggle. This person, though, they care too much about what people think. They want to be on this high horse. They want everyone cheering them on. Let me be your hero. Your person had some sort of um what's the word this could be someone narcissistic they had some a high inflated image of themselves this person they still have this element of arrogance though and confidence it's like they feel like they could just waltz back into your life and sweep you off your feet hmm Grandiosity, that's the word I was trying to think of. Their true feelings for you, seven of cups. They don't like feeling like everything's up in the air with you. Your person had a level of certainty, like they thought you would never leave them. They thought that you would never move on. They thought you would always be chasing them or wondering about them or holding on to them. They weren't expecting you to walk away. I feel like this was a toxic bond here, some sort of karmic situation for many of you. And now your person is feeling lost, confused. This is that chaotic energy. Some sort of karma has come in. It's confused them. It's going to wake them up. It is humbling them. But, you know, obviously... That humbling isn't happening overnight. There's still some of that arrogance there. They don't know where they stand with you. This could be they don't know or they don't have any options or they don't know 
what to do. They could have many options with this player energy. But they're wanting you. But I definitely feel this person is toxic. They definitely have selfish motives. Yeah, wheel of fortune or the wheel of karma. This is the karmic wheel. I feel you are doing better. And it would be best for you to go no contact. And stay on top of this wheel. This is clarity came to you. This is you and your empowerment. This is like the strength, the lion, the sphinx. Keep this person at the bottom of the wheel. This is their energy, this toxic person. Um, don't give them an inch. Go no contact. How are they truly feel? Left out in the cold. Yeah, you had to walk away from this person. I feel like this person has drained you so much. In so many ways, maybe drained your self-esteem, your confidence, drained your energy, um, drained your finances in some cases. Now they are the one that is feeling lost, alone. Whatever they dished out has come straight back to them. You are thriving as this empress. So I definitely feel you shouldn't let this person back in. Their true feelings. We have risk taking. This is someone that is risky, okay? Take a leap of faith. They're, they're basically going to try and hoover you back in. That's a narcissistic term. Um, against all odds, taking action, going for it, coming towards you. But this isn't anything for you to be happy about in terms of this isn't a compliment. Um, some of you, you know, we never want to wish bad things on anyone. But for some of you, this is going to be closure because this person's racing back in and you're going to be the one to say no to this person. Yeah, courage. This is someone that likes to appear strong, though. With that six of wands, they care a lot about what people think i heard from spirit strutting their stuff again leap of faith confidence going for it karmic yeah this is a karmic person tough lessons codependency temptation this person's not being true to their self they're wearing a mask they're being deceptive to everyone this person avoids shadow work. They avoid accountability for anything. They blame every, everyone else. They're stuck. So their true feelings. I feel like this person, they don't really have true feelings. They're just selfish. They're out for whatever they can get. What can they take from you what can they siphon from you your energy your finances your attention your status whatever it is and they will come in trying to be that charmer and i feel like they have many different people with that seven of cups or many sources of supply another narcissistic term if you're unfamiliar with narcissistic narcissism look it up on youtube it's extremely eye-opening graduation this is you this is you graduating this lesson this has all happened to help strengthen you even if it feels extremely challenging and painful at this time a lesson learned success a deeper understanding of your worth and of your truth and of your light um, a pat on the back from spirit to you wrapping up a cycle you've released this karma this person is still on that karmic wheel um, in their life with everyone um, but you've released this karma you are coming back to love to self-love you know your worth now. You're coming into joy. This is a huge step up for you. Cycles. Yeah, this connection, if you allow it, is going to keep going in round and round and round in cycles. You may have had many past lives with this person, but you're graduating this karma. Um, learning a new lesson. Yeah. 
fears back to love, growth. You're coming into consciousness, basically. Don't get back into that cycle with this person. This is what this person wants. Create those healthy boundaries. Go no contact. You can finally open your heart now because I feel like you had to protect yourself. You had to protect your heart because you were in a very dangerous, risky, painful, toxic, abusive situation. I feel like with this is a powerful lesson of self love to in order for you to be on the right path to begin attracting sacred love um this is the journey home whatever has happened here in this toxic situation it's awakening you helping you ascend more you have much more courage you've been through the fire you've been through the flames um inner child healing awakening self-love following your own heart trusting your own intuition as well so what would this person say to you if you allowed them to which i don't feel you should at all this is my truth <laughs> they are nothing they 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 never speak the truth okay but they, they will swear to you that this is their truth, this mask that they are wearing. They're going to come forward with a sob story. Try and pull on your heartstrings. They're going to say, you are my perfect person. We're soulmates. We're meant to be together. You are the one for me. I'm lost without you. This is someone who mirrors you. They want to find everything out about you so they can pretend that they are also those things and that you have the same morals and, and dreams and goals and aspirations. But it's all a deception to try and get you to let your guard down and share your heart, share everything with them. And then they later use this against you, everything you tell them. That's one of the many weapons they use to try and get their way. I want you to be so proud of me. I've changed. Let's work together. Let's come back into harmony. Let's give this connection another chance. This is what they're going to say. So I'm going to continue this reading on. In an extended reading, we're going to look even deeper into what is happening here. This person, what they are really like. Um, what they will say to you to try and get what they want and what is going to happen, you know, what is their karma as well. We're going to look at the pirate tarot and more messages cards as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.